First open in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the New England Patriots and the Detroit Lions. Austin McGinnis set to kick off. It's been a tradition since the early days of the NFL, and we're off on Thanksgiving Day in Detroit. Taken in the end zone. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. play from scrimmage 30 first down Patriots so the big play moves them all the way across midfield it's first and 10 from the 45 the 38. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Now a handoff here to his running back. They'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the nine. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. I don't care what the game plan was coming in. After these runs... You're running it, right? <laughs> you, you, you make sure you keep circling on your play sheet, running plays that are working, and keep patting those big offensive linemen on the back. They're doing a great job. It goes without saying, the defense is going to have to adjust to it. In a big way, and they've got to figure out, do they have to sell out to stop the run, or can they just do it better than what they've done so far? And they'll get this from the 8 to the 5. Pick up a 3. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. A great play there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Patriots drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. Jordan's Extra point attempt here still to come. And he gets it to make it 7 nothing Patriots. Makes the score Patriots 7, Lions nothing. Joey Sly. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Zone, so we will start here at the 25. Thank <laughs> you. 
this first play will get him back to the 25, but that's going to be in. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. No gain and that run was memorable for only one reason. There's absolutely no place to run with the football. No gaps, no creases, no gain. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Here's Mayfield. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards, a first down. First and ten at the 41-yard line. for the first time with DeAndre Swift. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Four yards, the pickup, first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. It's almost a tendency breaker. Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Michael, Michael Kendricks, the linebacker, there to get him down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They'll try to throw here. Mayfield looking for his running back, and he's got it. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. He's brought down at the 30. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On second and nine, Mayfield. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he takes this one in for Lions touchdown. A great effort there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Lions are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Getting your back involved. We'll see him there in the passing game. Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. He oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line.
Pats at the line, ready to go. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior, big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know, in order to keep the football moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. The wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. And now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. First down, New England. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll look to throw here. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Give him 30 yards there. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense, but on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 10 more there and another first down. At the 21-yard line. It's a gain of 10. And the Patriot first down. After one, a one-point game, seven to six. Patriot seven, Lions six. of a couple and it's second down and 12 at the 23 yard line on second down here's the option that's out to the left flat and complete and he's going to lose yards they take him down at the 26 that'll set him back with a loss of three on the play and they're going to be staring at a third and long here the shotgun. He'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. The trap is up for the challenge through the air. They force a fourth down. Certainly appeared to take away his first read and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. A 43 yard attempt. And his kick is indeed good. And they bump the lead up to four now at 10-6. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. Now, things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to the goal line, things stiffened a little bit towards the field goal. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Now they try the right side here. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on their early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. To throw, Mayfield. Seen this before, and we know 
coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. Antoine Winfield up from the secondary with a tackle. Oh, you talked about the need for them to establish the run early. They've been able to do that here in the first half. And that means that the whole offense has adopted that attitude and that persona. We're going to take care of this young quarterback. Let's all get together and run it and take the pressure off. Four receivers to keep tabs on here. Three of them to the right side on second and five. before they're inside the 25. 16 yards, a first down. First down, New England. Now a handoff looking right. Tracy Walker in on the tackle. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And Charles, this infraction is going to be against the offense. False start. Sometimes you have to get up to the line of scrimmage. Make sure your team is set before you begin your cadence. False start penalty, and now they're back to needing 10 yards on second down. A gain of 13, it's a first down. A gain of 13 yards. First down, Patriots. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. A great play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Patriots add on to their lead. Sly on for the extra point. It's good, and now it's an 11-point lead, 17-6. to six. Patriots 17, Lions 6. Joey Sly set to kick off. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. ready to kick off their next drive and they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown that's a no-no we'll see what they do here this go around a big no-no put that in capital letters turning it over the other team takes it down and scores that could be a deflator for a football team now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up now they're out there we'll see if they can pick those things back up First down, Mayfield. Throwing deep for Galladay. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. All right, I need you to check my eyes here. This entire unit defensively, I think, has looked really strong in the first half, especially in the secondary. They've been cohesive, fast to the football. We just saw another example arriving there to help knock that one away. Throwing deep for Galladay. And the seven-yard line, the catch is made. 
And he takes it all the way down to the three. A big play there for Detroit. 62 yards. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. Pick up a two. On second and goal, they'll give it to him again. And this time, he is in. Yes. A great effort there. With his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Lions have got it back to a one-score game. And this time he gets it to go as it is up and good. Lions. And McGinnis with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Fielded in the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Touchdowns on back-to-back -back drives. So a very good flow right now offensively. Hard to slow them down, too, because they are locked in. Feel like the offense coordinator is a little bit ahead of the defensive guys right now. They're beating them to the punch with their play calls. They've got a nice rhythm they're locked into. How can the defensive guys come up with something that will disrupt that flow? That's what they're seeking right now. It's been an exciting sequence to watch. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield. They had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Decision a good one, picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future what i mean by that is they had a plan let's find a way to score right here before the half and that'll give us momentum going into the second half give us that cushion that we're looking for they got that accomplished scoring right before the half ended joey sly now to kick off after the touchdown and that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone so we will start here at the 25.
The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. On second down, Swift. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. It's a gain of three. It's third and seven. Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. It'll be a 39-yard punt four on the return. And the Patriots take over. 37-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Less than 30 seconds to go on the half. Pretty good starting field position, all things considered. You'd think they definitely have time to get in field goal range. Yes, and you get into the huddle or you come off the bench here and you've called multiple plays because you're going to say, this is how we're going to run them in order, guys. You don't have time for them. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Second and 11. Looking deep for Adams. This is caught inside the 15. They'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Devontae Adams as the first half is winding down. And the Patriots add six to their lead. Joey Sly set to go. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. So we're at halftime here in the annual Thanksgiving game in Detroit. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! It'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Third quarter starts with a run from Swift. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. 
And he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he will not get there as they stop him short right around the 34-yard line. Just a two-yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. the Lions punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. at the line ready to go they are clicking on all cylinders they seem to be just scoring at will right now and that's why they've opened up this big lead now we always talk about getting into the zone and all athletes are seeking that aren't they where everything is working for them every move they make works it clicks and they are on point right now yeah they are in that zone that you're talking about Second and eight. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Gun. They'll look to throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 36. And he brings it back to right around the 26 yard line. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. The first play of the drive there is incomplete. I think we can all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball and field goal range after the turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger point. Their thinking is a touchdown is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive, that would feel disappointing. And he's going to take this down close to the first as he's brought down at the Patriots' 18-yard line. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Try the right side here. And they got it inside the 10 at the 8. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So it's pretty simple, partner. You pick up a turnover, set you up in excellent field position. The last thing you want to do is go three and out in this spot. Yeah, they would have had to settle for a field goal attempt, but now they keep those touchdown hopes alive. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. 
this is a tough situation offensively because down three scores, the field goal kicker is not even going to come into play here. As an offensive play caller, though, you know you have to take chances. This is a time to get creative. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. Option play, and Hill will keep it. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Taysom Hill, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Lions use the short field of their advantage as they cash in for six. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Austin McGinnis set to kick off. And McGinnis with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Taken in the end zone. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Their own 25-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. Now a handoff here to his running back. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. And he'll give it here to his running back. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. We're getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there, and this D is fired up. For the Lions, an extra DB in the game now here on third down. Set. No running backs in the backfield, so they're trying to get people out into a route pretty quickly. But guess what? The defense sees that. They go ahead and move, it, move themselves into a blitzing situation and come right after the quarterback. They had more guys there than they could block. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Just a single yard on the return. And the Lions will take over. 35 yard line. Offense ready to kick off their next drive. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit. Maybe pressure comes and down goes Baker Mayfield. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football before he knew it. He was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. So after the sack, here's second and 14. Another try after the first down sack. Mayfield looking left side and he's got a man. It's James. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Time to the tailback. 
And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield after a gain of about four. And result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. Well, that was tough to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this day, has got to be priority one. The Lions on third down. Just one for three thus far. This will be third and five. Mayfield now from the 50. He's got his man, TJ Hackinson. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try to run this one in. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Lions able to get this back within a touchdown. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. They'll try and run it here, but he will not get in here. He stopped up short of the goal line, and this will remain a five-point game. The McGinnis with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Takes this about five yards deep. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Patriots take over first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Now, the previous drive they punted, but that was just the first time they've had to do so in this game. And when they turn on the game film, the coaches will rant about this, right? They'll say, oh, God, we got to move the ball, guys. We can't punt the ball away. But they have to keep smiles off their faces because that's the first time in the game they've had to do so. They've moved it quite well. They'll overall be happy with what they've seen. yard line. Play action. They'll throw. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you're doing a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. the gun now on third down. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off near the 34. And the return will stop right around the 25. A seismic shift in momentum here in the fourth quarter. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, people are going to question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to question the execution, not necessarily the call. And in this case, those defenders found a way to give their team a chance. And he'll give it here to his running back. Give him nine on 
the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three corners, no reason to lighten up now. Gonna give this to him the tailback, and they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork, and add a little, little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. Takes this one in for the Lions touchdown. A 13 yard touchdown run. And the Lions have taken the lead. So from three scores down, these guys have fought all the way back to grab the lead. And I'll just tell people what happened when they went up three scores. I wrote on your paper two words, game over, and now I'm eating those words. I, I was wrong. The salt the pepper yeah, goes down pretty easily. I will admit when I make a mistake. Well, it looked like it was going that way. This is one of those paging Frank Reich moments. I can't believe I just brought that up. Because Frank Reich at Maryland in college did it to my Tennessee Volunteers. Oh. And I was a big reason why my team lost. Sounds like he still harbors some pain from that game. You know, we still got a little time to work it out with the doctor. <laughs> At their own 25-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And now they'll look to answer, working from behind. And remember, this offense is sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. And they run the option on second down. A quick throw complete into the flat out left. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 16 yards, a first down. Number 23, a gain of 16 yards. First down, New England. And they run the option here on first and 10. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. Ball carrier. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. From the 47, it's second and five. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Patriots with a football as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now left side of the swing pass. And some space here. Pass the 20. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. A great play there. 47 yards. And once again, the Patriots are back out in front. And touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. And part one is done, but now on the sideline, you can already see them scrambling down there. They're getting those defensive guys ready. Yes, you have to get those guys ready, and you also have to talk to your special teams guys. Make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well. out of the back of the end zone so we will start here at the 25. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive and the points they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking my replacement may get an opportunity. You have to be able to swim. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. 
with a gain of three, second down. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now Mayfield. Oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off at the 46. Short throw pick six right there, those linebackers. They love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. Makes the score Patriots 45, Lions 34. Joey Sly set to kick off. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And that's fielded on the back line of the end zone. Had no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. Offense ready to kick off their next drive. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in there. Good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. From the gun, Mayfield. was the target there. But now it's third down. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? Mayfield from the gun on third down. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First down Lions on a pickup of 13. First and 10 at the 38-yard line. Mayfield with it once more. So on the left side here, and it's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Detroit Lions first down. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. They'll throw again. Here's Mayfield. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. Out of bounds. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. Brings up second and four. Going to the air again with Mayfield. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that one falls incomplete. A 50-50 ball. A little dangerous. Could have been picked. Now it's third down. Kyle Duggar there on the coverage. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. One last shot for Mayfield here. He's going to let it fly. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And they'll get there and pick it. Today's final 
score. Patriots 40. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone.